what is going on my dudes do that showing you with that snare serpentarium so you've seen the title you've seen the thumbnail you know what this is going to be about it's going to be about should you move to feed but before we get into any of that guys just want to say real quick thank you for spending some time with me today i really really appreciate it if you're new around here don't forget to subscribe and smash the notifications bell for daily snake videos and um, let's get straight into it so moving to feed then um right so the the main rationale to move into feed is basically uh, people move to feed because they think that if they feed in the enclosure that will actually make the snake defensive um, basically the idea is that the associate being in the tank or rub or whatever it is with being fed so they take the snake out instead um, and then move it and then feed it and then put it back in the tank. Now, for me, I think it's a bit of a silly way of doing it. Um, I've heard lots of people arguing that, oh yeah, you know, I do that and I don't have any issues with viv defensiveness, so it must work. Well, I don't do that and I don't have any issues with viv defensiveness either, so... <laughs> You know, <laughs> it's a bit of a silly argument that is really, you know, it's, it's a bit daft. Um, take for instance here this gorgeous girl, she's never been fed out of her tub. I very rarely handle her because she's had eggs and I wanted her to fully recover, but now she's looking lovely and chunky. Okay, she's looking fucking awesome actually. Look at that, right? She's not very defensive. Um, you know, my dumb rattles bowers, they get fed in their enclosure, they're not very defensive. None of them are. None of them. Um, the only one that's slightly viv defensive, viv defensive, is the little retech, the, the little hatchling. Well, yearling. Um, but as soon as you get it out, it's no big deal at all. You just gotta use a hook. Um, so that's the main thing with, uh, with why people why people feed in separate tubs really um i have and, and still do actually feed in separate tubs and that's mainly because um of breeding basically so if a snake is outside its main tank for five days of the week and it's in its tank for two days of the week for me really that tank is in his house the other tank is his house and where he lives and that's the area it's more familiar with so really when you are moving out of that tank and putting in the other one to feed it that is moving to feed really but the difference is is once it's eaten you're not taking it out again and then moving it again that's that's where i sort of you know i've got a little tweak on moving um moving to feed can cause a lot of stress particularly when they're eating and then you know an hour later you're moving it you shouldn't handle your snake for 48 hours after it's eaten as you all know i'm not going to preach to the choir guys i know you all know that okay but i'm just re driving home that point you shouldn't do it so the theory obviously it's an old theory but people still do it i know people that have only been keeping a year or so that do it um and i try to tell them you know sort of nonsense but they won't have it um they they just use the logic of oh, well my snakes aren't very defensive therefore you know it must work but that isn't necessarily the case if you fed inside the tank that isn't to say that all of a sudden it'd become super viv defensive and start you know destroying you every time you go in the tank that's just not that's not how reality works so i personally think um that is the main problem really is is people spreading misinformation about why you know why you should move to feed when the reality of it is the only reason you should move to feed is if you've got to pay together um but then you know obviously feeding them and then reintroducing them you both you're giving them 20 48 hours separate and then reintroducing them um otherwise you could potentially get cannibal issue can cannibalism issues as well um particularly with smaller snakes so 
really um, I think personally it's a lot of nonsense moving to feed um, a lot of these people giving advice out there I'm not saying I'm perfect by any stretch of the imagination but a lot of these people giving advice out there I wouldn't trust them to tell me the time in a room full of clocks to be honest they're absolute morons um, to be totally honest really really dumb people out there um, and I'm not, you know, I'm not running anyone down for their ideology, but that is really silly ideology. Basic common sense would tell you that's silly. Um, moving to feed, really, and the logic behind it. The only, um, there are a lot of downsides as well, guys, to moving to feed, other than the fact you've got to handle it immediately after, which you shouldn't do anyway. If you've got a picky eater or a shy eater, um, take for instance my Chinese beauty snakes, they're very shy eaters. If I go anywhere near their tank before, during or after they eat, I'm going to have issues. I've actually come in the room before and they've been chowing down on a, on a rat or a mouse that I've left in there. And then they've spat it back out because they've seen that I'm there. They'd never eat, they'd starve to death if, uh, if I moved to feed them. I'd have massive problems. Some of my royals are the same, these guys, they're exactly the same. Um, if I move to feed them, forget it, they're not going to eat. Um, they, 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 they would not eat at all. They like their own environment, their own sort of smells and stuff. They can smell their own pheromones, they know exactly where they are, they know they're safe there. And that is the best place then to feed, that is where, they, where they'd feed in the wild somewhere, where they're familiar with. Um, they wouldn't just, you know, go to a random place where they don't know and then feed and then come back. That, that, that wouldn't happen. Obviously, snakes in the wild, guys, I'm not saying that they all live down holes and stuff, but they do sometimes live down, you know, termite mounds and stuff. I'm not saying they live down there all the time, though, because that isn't true. Um, but they do live down there for a good portion of time. Especially uh, royals. And, um, obviously... Uh, warmer pythons as well because the African soil is too hot but anyway they're down there they can smell their own scents you know and then a rodent walks past BAM they, they smash it you know but if a cow walks past they wouldn't think oh that's a rodent and try to smash that as well do you know what I mean so that's that's sort of where this this viv defensive idea falls apart um, we as humans we don't trigger a feed response from right we don't smell like a rat we smell like soaps deodorants perfumes aftershave you know just a lot of chemicals washing detergent we don't smell like a rodent the only reason a snake would tag you mistaking you for food is if you're defrosting a rodent or offering food um but it misses and it hits your, hit your hand that would be the only reason it confuse you for food um it wouldn't confuse you for food because you feed it in the same tub Another issue with that is an even bigger issue really, I think it's even sillier, um, is I find once I've fed my snakes, they go into feeding mode. So for the next hour or so, or you know, however long, they're in feeding mode. So then when you go back into that separate tank to move it back into its regular enclosure, it's probably going to tag you because it's still in feeding mode. You know, so, and, and it's going to be more defensive as well because it's more vulnerable. So, anyway, I can't talk about this topic anymore, guys. It's stressing me out how, how silly people are. Um, I'm, not, I'm not claiming to know everything, but basic common sense would tell him moving to feed is just, just a lot of nonsense. So, again, guys, thank you for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed coming here and seeing, seeing this lesser girl today she's looking lovely and chunky as i've said um, let me know what you think in the comments um, do you move to feed or do you think it's silly like i do um, drop us a like if you made it this far because you obviously enjoyed the video um, don't be lying to me you, you did enjoy it <laughs> um uh, blah, 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 blah. sorry um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking for name suggestions for this girl as well. I'm going to start to name my snakes, but I can't think of all the, all these names. So um, just let me know what you think I should name this girl down in the comments. I'd love to uh, hear your name suggestions. Um, and then the one with the most thumbs up on their comment will win. 
and uh, that's how I'm going to do it. So the best name suggestion wins. Um, and we're going to start start it off with this girl, this chonker. Um, and then we'll see how it goes from there. So another thing as well, guys, I wanted to mention. I'm going to start doing Fun Fridays, where I'm going to be doing like skits, like snake-related skits, feeding, and just all kinds of fun stuff to you know, quite light-hearted and stuff like that. Um, just to break up the videos a bit, um, just to make it a little bit more funny, but also have you know, the, the sort of deeper meaning behind the channel and behind what I'm trying to achieve with making these videos and stuff and it's going to be entertaining for you all hopefully so again guys thank you for watching um and i will see you in the next video bye guys